Hey guys, Rimacore 411 and welcome back to my channel. We're about to go into a Camille Rose wash day. I'm about to jump in the shower, shampoo my hair, condition my hair. No, no, no. Take that back. Shampoo my hair. Not condition my hair. Deep condition my hair. And then I'm going to be pairing the leave-in conditioner with my gel and we're going to be doing the plopping effect so i will be plopping my hair overnight get ready enjoy the video all right guys so we have shampooed our hair and we have deep conditioned out hair. The Camille Rose Sweet Ginger Cleanse and Rinse Castor Oil and Aniseed Oil. Um, it is a very good hair cleanser. When I finished shampooing my hair, my hair did not feel stripped. It felt moisturized, but you can tell that the gel and everything that I had in my hair was completely gone, which was very good. The algae the algae algae renew deep conditioning mask has like a minty smell to it um i went in i went in because i wanted to make sure every strand was cleansed plus it just has this minty smell to it that just makes you feel like you at a spa or something i feel very relaxed very relaxed okay i left this in for 10 minutes now, you know I told you guys I was going to be doing the greenhouse effect with my leave-in conditioners. So right now, I have on my hair the Camille Rose Honey Hydrate Leave-In Conditioner. That's what I have sitting in my hair right now. I just love the fact that it warms up in your hands and you can feel it going over your hair and all that good stuff. So right now, our hair is ready to be styled, all right? You can see I added it to completely wet hair. My hair was totally saturated. And I added it. Even got a little of the juices and berries stuck in my cap. That's okay because I'll clean that in a minute. Now, what I was thinking is I'm going to add just a little of the Camille Rose Amage Twisting Butter. I'm going to add a little of that to each section that I'm going to apply the gel to, okay? Because I want a moisturizing wash and go. Moisturizing gel, moisturizing. So we are going to work in sections. And I'm going to just go ahead and blot my hair. Just blot it to get some of that extra, extra water out. Trust me, it's not taking out the product. It is in there. It is in there. So for this wash and go, I will be wearing a side part. Okay. 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 So I'll be wearing a side part, a small side part. And I'm going to look at hair. It's already detangled and everything. I am ready. I am ready, okay? Let me take my towel off. Because I didn't blot it the extra off, so I don't think we should have no problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, style my hair for a wash and go. And then if you watch the video prior to this one, I'm going to be plotting, plopping, plopping my hair. I'm going to go in with one of these two towel, uh, t-shirt caps and let my hair over dry tonight while I sleep and rest. It'll be working its goodness out, okay? Let me get my clips. Okay, so I have already separated my hair. My hair is already detangled, okay? So I'm just gonna brush through, because right now, remember the leave-in is in my hair. And I'm only gonna add about that much of the cream and that's because i really want the moisture from it but i plan on going in with the gel so 
This is the twist and butter cream. So it's really just adding the cream. So it just won't be all gel. And I'm going in with the green extreme wet line gel. So I haven't saw any reviews on it. I just saw it at the store the other day. So I grabbed it. And that's what I'm adding to my hair. It's supposed to be the max hold. The max hold. As a matter of fact, it says 24 hour duration, extra fixation. So it's, this gel is supposed to last 24 hours with extra hold. So that's what I'm adding to my hair right now. I can feel the curls. And you see it. Do you see it? Do you see it? Yeah. So, that's what I'm about to do for the rest of my hair. And I'll come back when it's time to plop. Let's speed up the video. t-shirt cap um this evolves. yes by evolve and what it's going to do is going to help with my drying time overnight now when i take this off because of the amount of gel that i put in and the leave-in and all that kind of stuff my hair is not going to be 100 percent dry it is not going to be 100 percent dry but it's going to be a good in the 80s I'll say in the 80 percentile, then I'll say my hair will be completely air dried about two hours from that. So it cuts the time. And on top of that, I don't have to worry about, it don't feel like I'm going to bed with a wet head. It feel like this towel is going to soak up the excess water 
and my wash and go is going to be ready to go in the morning. I probably even have to spray a little water on it just to loosen up the curls. Okay? So, but we'll see and we'll talk about that in the morning. As of right now, I'm going to bed. Good night. All right, so good morning and it is take down time. Once again, I am not expecting for my hair to be 100% dry. I'm expecting for the gel to still be damp, but I am expecting for my curls to still be there, okay? Unhook the towel, t-shirt towel. Give it a little shake. Okay. Like I said, 80%. 80%. Give a hair a little shake. Loosen it up. The curls are definitely still intact. And within about two hours, my hair will be completely dry. But it is nowhere near as wet as it was when I went to sleep. And you can feel the moisture and everything in the towel. You guys, this is a game changer for my washing goes. It is a game changer for my washing goes. You're going to see this so much. You're going to see it so much. Even when I don't sleep in it overnight, I am still going to put this on my head and wear it around for more than a couple of hours because um, it dried mahogany curls hair 90, 95% in an hour. So if I give it four to five hours, as long as my hair won't be dripping and going all around looking crazy, I'm good. But as you can see, all my curls and everything are still intact. That dried. That dried. 80%. And most of it is the roots, the gel. But I'm okay with that. Y'all can't tell me that ain't pretty. Plopping. Camille Rose came through. Camille Rose came through. Check out this wash and go. I am embracing my curls, guys. I'm embracing my curls. I know I'm not anywhere near being the uh, wash and go queen. I haven't. I don't have enough time under my belt. But continue to watch my YouTube channel. I'm at least gonna be a princess. I'm gonna be at least a princess. Check it out. Check it out. I love it. 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 Okay, guys. Well, that concludes this video. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. Click on the notification bell. If you're already one of my subscribers, thank you so much. We hit over 2,000 subscribers, and I'm so happy I got 2,000 subscribers. So imagine what it's going to be when I, when I get 50,000 subscribers. 100k. I mean, woo, woo. I'm gonna have to go in and start getting that expensive stuff. No, I'm gonna keep it on the budget, natural on the budget. I had my water bottle because I thought maybe I'll have to spray it to break the gel cast or something. But no, the the leave-in and the glycerin has already broke that. So let's just. Keep on going with the hold. Okay? I will see you guys in the next video. And keep God first in everything you do. And I do mean everything. Start your day off with God. And you won't have to worry about trying to squeeze him into your day. Your day will actually go better. Okay? Alright. See y'all later. Bye.